Hello everyone, let's talk about a phenomenon that's common in our young children and it's called nursemaid's elbow. Now it is frightening when it occurs uh, for the child and the parent. So what is it? It's called a pulled elbow and it occurs when the parents are swinging the child or when they're pulling them by the arm when they're in a rush or even simply when they're holding their hand and the child decides to suddenly stop or drop and the arm gets pulled. So out of curiosity, how does it get its name? Well, nursemaids were caretakers in the past and they were actually blamed uh, for this injury when they were tugging at the kid's arms. Now the incidence of this is usually between the ages of two and five years old because that's when the ligaments are loose and rarely occur after six years old. So what anatomically is occurring? First of all, the elbow joint is a meeting spot of three bones, the ulna and the radius, which is part of the forearm, and the humerus, which is part of the upper arm, and ligaments is what attaches the bones to the joints. So when there's a pulling force on the arm, the ligament that attaches the radius to the joint slips and the radius becomes dislocated. So typical presentation is a sudden onset of pain with that history of swinging or pulling motion. The child will usually hold their arm straight down by their side um, or slightly bent at the elbow with the forearm going across the stomach and they will refuse to move that arm. Uh, usually there is no swelling at the joint and there should be no point tenderness all along the bones. Uh, the provider usually can make this diagnosis by the history plus that examination. Now treatment for this is unique, quick, and satisfying for both the child and the parent, but even the provider. Um, so once the diagnosis is made by the provider, they will perform a maneuver uh, to reduce that elbow. Uh, the provider will hold the child's arm uh, with one hand on the elbow and the other hand on the wrist, and then they will move the forearm appropriately to reduce it. Um, sometimes you can hear a pop, uh, but otherwise the provider will usually feel a pop at the elbow knowing that it's been reduced. Now the child should be able to move their arm right away, uh, but sometimes they do have that fear of pain, so it can take 10-15 minutes. Uh, so we monitor the child, engage them in activity until they have full range of motion of that arm. Now, if they do gain that full range of motion, then no other treatment or follow-up is needed. Um, however, if you cannot get that full range of motion, then x-rays and a possible referral uh, to the orthopedics might be needed just to um, ensure there is no other injuries. Now for long-term consequences, there really is none except uh, the possibility of recurrence of nursemaid's elbow. And so the key is education for prevention. Uh, and mainly to prevent this, we uh, discourage the swinging and the full, uh, pulling motions. Uh, we thank you for listening and we'll see you next week.